a call for more religious freedom, shouted down by cries of discrimination. The bill they want vetoed passed through Senate and reached the governor's desk. That's when the chorus of opposition hit a high note. Shops and restaurants could have refused to serve people if doing so was against their religious beliefs. But most believe a law legalizing discrimination would be bad for business. The business people are against it because it's going to hurt business. It also is morally wrong to exclude somebody on, on that basis of the, of the law. You know, there's how many religions in the world? It's not about everybody having their, their point of view overriding everybody else's or, or, or that it gives you exclusivity. It's supposed to include. Those backing the bill claimed discrimination was not the intent. This bill does one simple thing. It allows people to have their constitutional right under our First Amendment to freely exercise their religion, not just in the synagogue, not just in the churches, but seven days a week in their personal lives and in their business. But what happens if that clashes with another person's beliefs and, and position? Well, that's always what we have to wrestle with in, in our society, is, is whether two things can coexist in the same space. At the state capitol, the pressure mounted on a conservative governor who's made controversial decisions before to veto the bill. Those organizing next year's Super Bowl here called for a veto, as did big companies, including Apple, who are bringing a new factory and 2,000 jobs to the state. For a business-first governor, the pressure was overwhelming. The bill is broadly worded and could result in unintended and negative consequences. After weighing all of the arguments, I have vetoed Senate Bill 1062 moments ago. Woo! Opponents of the bill saw the decision as a victory for gay rights. The people's voices were heard and that the governor did the right thing. Uh, I still see a lot of criticism out there that the governor waited too long or criticisms that you know the legislature should have never brought this in the first place. But that happened and now we need to move forward. Since the Supreme Court backed equality for same-sex couples last year, there's been a real momentum over gay marriage across America. But of course, that's also sparked a conservative backlash. It pits religious freedom against personal freedoms and against non-discrimination. And it seems that non-discrimination has won here in Arizona with this veto by the governor. Alistair Leith at BBC News in Phoenix.